How's it going, YouTube? Wonderful, uh, hot and humid evening here in uh, Central Florida. Smoking my corn cob pipe with some black Cavendish called Midnight. Just want to say thank you to everybody who's been subscribing and commenting and liking on my videos. I really appreciate it. But I also wanted to bring up a topic. And um, some might say it's a little of a sensitive topic. I don't, I don't think it is. Um, I think it's more of a, uh, a uh, miscommunication or um, even an ignorance. I wanted to talk about the differences between fine tobacco and cigarettes. Now, being 18 myself, you get a lot of people, I mean, me being the manager of a cigar store, you get a lot of people coming in there and they're like, how old are you? You know, I mean, <coughs> why are you smoking cigars? Why are you smoking pipes? You're too young for all that. My uncle died of smoking cigarettes. They'll say something like that. And I always tell them, a cigar and pipes are nowhere near cigarettes. And they say, well, what do you mean? Because, I mean, I'll have people walk into a fine cigar store asking for black and milds or Marlboro Reds. Which is kind of an insult. So, I thought I'd point out some of the main differences between fine handmade tobacco and crap that they sweep up off the floor, roll it together, put a filter on it, and call it a cigarette. Or a cigarello. They can get it at a gas station, like a black and mild. One of the uh, main differences is that, let's take cigars. A cigar is consisted of a filler, a binder, and a wrapper. The wrapper is what you see on the outside. It's the giant leaf that's wrapped around the outside. And depending on the color, from a Connecticut to a natural to a Habano to a Maduro or even a Candela or an Oscuro even, those are how long that the wrapper is exposed to sunlight. So it's an agricultural thing. It takes quite a while to get the perfect filler, the perfect binder, the perfect wrapper for the particular blend of cigars they're making. It takes time, it takes an appreciation, it's an art, it really is. There are very few people left in this world that can roll a proper cigar and roll a, a piece of art. I mean, not everybody looks at it that way, but I like to look at cigars as pieces of art. It's, it's, someone that's, it's someone's hard work, someone's sweat and tears that they're putting into something that you get to enjoy for about an hour and it's it's good to look at it that way I mean think about it from the the picking process to the sorting to the drying and fermenting and the aging then the rolling by the time it gets to the shelf at your local tobacconist it's been at least four years and that's that's pretty low actually So you gotta you gotta look at it and think. Over 300 hands have touched this cigar before I even lit it. You can't say that about a cigarette. Oh, pop one out. So, it, it, I like to educate people that come into the shop and ask me what the differences are about the time and the quality and the, and the control it takes to make an, a great cigar. 
And, and it, it's the same thing for pipes. For pipes, it takes years before a blend is perfectly mixed together from natural tobacco. We're not talking about chemical shit. We're not talking about that. none of that, the, uh, the, uh, the preservatives, none of the, um, the shit that makes it uh, not burn as fast and all those addictive chemicals. I mean, that stuff's disgusting. It's disgusting. It really is. No offense to cigarette smokers, but when they say you're smoking cancer, you really are. <coughs> and in no way am I saying that cigars or pipes are healthy, because they're not. I'm just saying that <coughs> I'm not inhaling. You shouldn't inhale for pipes or cigars. But pipes and cigars are fine tobacco. It's fine tobacco. It's tobacco that's been aged. It's tobacco that's been that's been made a certain way to taste a certain way. There's a reason it costs a lot more than a cigarette or a cigarello. It's so that people can enjoy art. It's it's a skill, it's a trade that people have to learn and talented people who are good at rolling the torcedors they they're bringing their artwork to you so that you can enjoy and they don't put it in packs of 20 or 24 unless you buy a box and um, I mean sure a cigar has more nicotine than a whole carton of cigarettes that's true <coughs> but it's not the nicotine that kills you it's sucking it in through your lungs and your lungs get harder and they get stronger because they don't want to die so they so they adapt and during the adaptation process is when there can be mutations in the cells and when the mutation happens that's when a cancer can occur but and people say well you know you're gonna get mouth cancer throat cancer from smoking pipes smoking cigars and here's my thing the relaxation the flavors the appreciation that I get out of the pipe, a good pipe, a good bowl, or, or a fine cigar is well worth it. And guess what? I have the same chance of driving down to work and getting hit by a car and dying. So, for me, I'm not worried about it. And you shouldn't either, because that's going to take away from your experience. And my match went out. I had a lady come in yesterday. Came to the shop, said she had a cigarette in her hand. And we don't allow cigarette smoking in our in our shop. And she said, I need a light. So I said, alright. Gave her a lighter and she, she lit it up. She walked outside. And I'll tell you what we get a lot of. People call in, people walk in. and There's a uh, e-vapor, e-cigarette store right next to us. And we don't we don't deal with e-cigarettes or <coughs> the juice. So people will come in, they'll be like, Where are your e-cigarettes? And be like, We smoke real shit. No offense to vapors out there. But I just wanted to make this video to say that there's there's such a quality difference between a cigarette and a cigar or a fine pipe tobacco. There's time, there's effort, there's quality in it. And until you've until you've seen the difference and you realize that it's an art form and needs to be appreciated as an art form because with all the FDA and the shit they're about to do, which I don't want it to pass, but I think it will because they want the money. It might kill the business and it might be a lost art. So Appreciate while you can. I know I do. I just want to say thank you guys for, for listening to my little speech here. and Try to educate people. Let them know the difference between shit tobacco and quality tobacco. Alright guys. I'm going to head out of here and I'll have some more videos to come. Thanks for watching.